What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we are doing Part 6, the final installment of our All Collectibles Guide. This one is much smaller than the previous ones. A couple of those parts were 80 plus items, but this one is only 7. We have 5 audio logs and 2 skulls to get. There's 1 skull and 2 audio logs. We'll start with the skull, that's the Grunt Birthday Party skull. It comes before the audio logs do, so we'll do it sequentially. As you make your way through this mission, you'll come to this area and there's going to be a light bridge that leads you to this central platform and you deploy the weapon into this and there's a little cutscene that happens. You could watch it or skip it, whatever you want to do. Once you do get past that little cutscene, there will be a second bridge that spawns in and it actually leads to the other side of the room and there's going to be some enemies that come in. So get rid of those guys so we don't have to worry about them gumming up the works. You don't need to kill anyone really, but it just makes it a lot easier when you're not, you know, getting shot from all directions. And then we'll actually not go towards where the mission wants us to go. We're going to turn to the right and there's going to be a doorway over there. So you want to run, jump, and grapple over there. There's a few different ways to get over there, but I just kind of ran straight at it and grappled up. And you'll find through this doorway a power seed. So we're going to take this power seed and we have to go take it now across to the other side of the room. So another doorway that doesn't have a bridge to it, so we're going to have to get creative. But instead of going directly across, we're going to turn to the left here. You can see there's this slanted beam that juts out towards the center of the room. You could use that to grapple off of. And this launches you back to where you started this room from, so we're back on that platform. We will go over the bridge, and we need to go over there towards the left now. We went to the right to get the power seed. We need to go to the left to actually insert it into its slot over there. So I'm just throwing this thing. You could actually throw this across the gap as well. So instead of swinging with it, you could just throw it over the platform. If you happen to throw it into the bottomless pit, don't worry. It respawns back where you got it from originally, so no worries there. And we're just going to attempt a nonchalant swing to the platform we need to be at, uh, like we did on the other side. But unfortunately, I miss. I go too far to the left, and uh, I made this more interesting than it had to be. But uh, fortunately, we corrected. And now we're just going to chuck this thing in here. You don't need to throw it, but... You can't sprint when you have this thing in your hand, so I like to just throw it ahead where I'm going so I could sprint and grapple towards it. So we're going to insert it into the slot over here. Nothing happens, that's evident at least, but we're just going to continue through the mission as normal. Eventually you'll get to this room with two big struts sticking out of the wall towards you. So you're going to approach from this angle, you can see the two big struts I'm talking about. I'm zapping them with the sentinel beam, which you don't need to do. I'm just pointing them out. But we're going to climb up here and go through the gap in the wall up at the top, and this would normally be blocked. But since we put that power seed in the slot, it actually uh, opened this up for us. And the skull is right on the floor there. Be aware that there are invisible elites in this room. So you could either choose to deal with them and then safely pick up the skull, or you could just make a run for the skull and try to pick it up before they kill you. Next up are the two audio logs, and both of these appear way at the end of the mission. The first one actually is given to you automatically, much like Warship Jabraken, Foundations, and Nexus. You're going to get a free audio log here as well. And this one is obtained after you watch this cutscene with uh, Cortana destroying Doisak with the Guardians and the weapon learning that she's basically a copy of Cortana. Shortly after that, if you go to Database and then UNSC Audio Logs, you will find that all four of the recovered files are present. So those are the four quote-unquote free audio logs that we've obtained over the course of the campaign. When you get out of that cutscene, you'll be standing here. There'll be some enemies that come in. You want to go to the left. You could go to the right, but the left is a little bit better. That will ensure that we go and get the data pad because we're going to pass right by it. If you go to the right, you could miss it maybe, but we're going to go to the left. You can see I pinged that scan function and it shows you the way to go and there's two ways to go, but take the left. We're going to go through here. There's enemies typically in here, but I cleared them all out already, so don't worry about that. I'm just showing you the rooms you need to go through and the path you need to take. We'll get into here and on the table in this room, there's going to be a data pad that is beeping at you, so pick this up. If you go the other way, you might miss it because both of those paths converge up ahead here and then lead to the end of the mission, so... If you take that right path, you might just finish the mission without even noticing this data pad is over here. You can hear it from the right path right at the end, so if you're being observant, you'll cut back and go towards this left area. But you might as well take the path on the left, because that way you have to walk right past it, so it's a lot more noticeable. The next mission is the road, but that doesn't have any collectibles, so we're here at the House of Reckoning, the next mission, which has three audio logs. The first one is in this first training room, where a bunch of waves of enemies just fly at you, and it's basically like a game of firefight for a little bit in this room. But right when you enter the room, you want to go towards the right side of this kind of uh, base that's been built up. It's kind of like an island they made with a UNSC base on top of it. And you want to head towards the back of the right side here, and by the ramp, you're going to find the first of three audio logs. So pick that one up, and we'll head to the next one. After that first training session, you will go to another room that looks similar and have a second training session for advanced training. 
Then you'll arrive at yet another hologram of Eshram, and this will actually lead into your battle with Jaga or Domna. And this is the area you come to right before that fight. So before you head in there, you want to drift to the right and you'll see a banished audio log up against here. You'll get to the top of an elevator ride. You'll come to this room flanked yet again by some holograms where Echo 216 is being held hostage in the middle of the room there and where you and Eshram are about to have a final showdown. But before you kick that off, you want to go towards the pilot in the middle, but drift to the left, head towards the back of the room here, and once we get to the back, we are going to turn around to the left, and we'll see the banished audio log sitting here, glowing in the dark. Grab that, that is the final banished audio log, the final audio log of the entire game. We just have one more skull to get. And this one's a little tricky, because normally a mission, when it starts, will tell you if there's any audio logs or skulls to be found on it. But this one does not say anything. It just acts as if there's nothing to be found, but there is the bandana skull here. So, But it's really easy to get. There's only two steps to it. The first step is don't kill any sentinels throughout this mission. So you will come across a few throughout your journey here. Just ignore them. Just run past them. You could do this on easy if you want. Towards the end, you will reach this point where two bridges activate simultaneously. One leads from you to the central area, and the other leads from the far side to the central area. And that far side door will be locked unless we successfully made it through without killing any sentinels. So since that's what we did, the door will be unlocked, and we could go forward and actually get in there. And what's in here waiting for us? You guessed it. It is the bandana skull, the final skull, the final collectible in all of Halo Infinite for now. Who knows what DLC is going to come out, but... By my count, there were 242 collectible items, which is quite a jump up from the previous Halo games, which typically would have, what, like 10 or 12 skulls and 10 or 12 terminals here or there. Maybe both if they went crazy, so that adds up to like 25 things. This had 242, so good job out there. You earned it. Now we can play Lasso that we have all the skulls. But those Lasso guides will come another day. It is now time for a nap, and then I'll be back with more guides soon. Thanks for watching guys, if you found that video helpful be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides and I'll see you in the next one.